Remember our rhyme from last week? Let's see if we can do it together again. This time, let's pick yellow apples. Way up high in the apple tree, two little, uh, two yellow apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. A leaf man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. Now on every page, look for what the leaves have made. The leaves have a head, the eyes, the nose, little feet. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. What do you think that is? Think it's a squirrel? The last time I saw him, he was heading east, past the chickens. Toward the marsh, over the ducks and geese. A Leaf Man's gotta go where the wind blows. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash and flew over the turkey past potatoes, carrots, and cabbages and rows. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards? Or over the prairie meadows? And past the spotted cows. The spotted cow is my favorite. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. Maybe leaf man's gliding on a lake breeze. Or flying along the river. following butterflies going south. Well, a leaf man's gotta go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north above leaves that look like him. Or flying over mountains with a flock of birds When Leaf Man looks down on Earth, is he lonesome for home? This I do know. Where a Leaf Man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a Leaf Man waiting to go home with you. It's time to open your bag. What's inside this week? There's two activities. One activity, you can use the paper leaves that are in your bag to make your own leaf man or leaf cow or fish or whatever leaf creature you want to make. Or you could go outside in your yard and collect leaves and use those to make a leaf creature. Or you could do both. The other activity in your box is a recipe. It's a recipe for finger paint. And you can make finger paint and you can mix the colors. You can make a red finger paint and a yellow finger paint and find out what happens when you mix them together. Or a yellow finger paint and a blue finger paint and mix them together. There's lots of possibilities, but it'll feel fun on your fingers while you're doing it. Have fun.